Hey guys, this is part, here's part two. Now, um, a, f a few weeks later, I attended the Baltimore Comic Con with Melanie and Be Bethany. It was at the same building, only this time it was in a different part, uh, unlike the year before, where it was actually in where I was in the Fountain Building. This time it was in the main building, wh where m where the dealers room is kept. And well, when we got there, we like I said, we like I, like I said in the previous part, we ran into a lot of our friends. In fact, some of them we ran to multiple times. Uh, like, such as, um, well, Fox, uh, such as Echo and Miguel. Actually, we ran to Miguel a few, several times, and it was really cool, it was really cool to see him. We also, uh, sorry, my brain's, it's kind of late at the time I shot this, but anyway, we walked around the dealer's room, I found uh, Ron Mars, who worked on the my Tales of Sinestro Corps book, so I got him to sign it. It was and he made a joke about my Yankees hat, but he understood I'm a, a, bit, I'm a Yankee. Uh, I was raised a fan. Anyway, I think, and I also I got a couple of comic books, Ghostbusters, namely. And we also met Gina B. Cosplay, whose boyfriend Miggy Jagger was on Heroes of Cosplay season 1.5. She was dressed like Hawk Girl on the first time we saw her. Then the sec second day, the next day she was dressed like dressed like um, Wonder Woman from a recent Justice League. A movie I can't remember which off the top of my head, but anyway, she was really like I said, she was really cool to talk to. We found out that she happened to she and her, her she, she and Miggy happened to be in the Yu-Gi-Oh card Yu-Gi-Oh, and and our jaws just dropped. And I showed her some of the cards I had just gotten from gotten from Bethany, and and even my Crystal Beast deck, so that was pretty wicked. But yeah, um, oh Peter Mayhew, aka Chewbacca, was there. I didn't get a chance to meet him, but uh. Like I said, I ran into several friends of mine, including Echo, and who was uh, on the first time I saw her was dressed like the Amazing Spider-Man Electro um, before he got the battle suit. And I got, and of course, I got pictures with, with my friend, not just of my friends, but with them. And I, we attended my friend Aich's panel on cosplay, and I, where I also finally met my friend Brittany for the, in person because we'd been friends on Facebook for a while. And so this panel, with this panel, I got to meet her in person and. Thanks to Nadia, I got I used a tr I was able to use a tripod to stabilize it. Thank thank you Nadia for that by the way. Uh, there was a big photo shoot on the the day on the second on the second day I was there and I got to not only partake in it, not just like behind the camera, but also I got to be in front of it where I was my common writer Ryugan cosplay both days I should mention. But anyway, it I also found my friend Dee Dee who I had not seen since the previous Baltimore Comic Con. And who I also met back then, and of course I gave a lot of my friends who were their photos I had taken of them and with them, so because I, I thought that'd be kind of cool. I also gave my friend Fox a birthday gift that was about six months late, but it was okay because it was. But she because I mean but she understood. I mean we, we didn't because I didn't see her at at Oticon the month before. But anyway, anyhow, uh, she looked. I got. I filmed her looking at the gifts, including uh, the customized greeting card I made her. And she, and when I was actually on my way home later that night, I was actually heading to the metro. She texted me telling me that she and her friends, she and our friends, listened to the two customized CDs I made her, and they loved it. They loved the, the various songs I put on there. Granted, a lot of them were a lot were Japanese, but that's because you know one of the things that brought us together was the tokusatsu, tokusatsu genre. And it was, it just gave me a serious, gave me a serious confidence boost because combine that, combine that with what happened that whole weekend, it was definitely one of the best weekends I've, I've ever had in my life because, I mean, I, meet, I met some people I'm a fan of, I met some friends for the first time, I ran into, I, I made some new friends, got to reunite with friends, and I got to, I gave, gave I gave, I got to give a friend a gift and, she, and they loved it. And it was just really cool. I mean, it was just I mean, it was amazing. I'm definitely go going back this year. This time I'm going for three days instead of two. Because I think it, it's best. Plus, you know, I should mention with both con conventions, I was passing out business cards for my, first, for my, own, for my official Facebook page for my photos and, and stuff. Wise Owl Productions, which is why I said Wise Owl in the previous part. Because it was an amazing time, and I... I and but anyway, and I, in fact, um, it's thanks to my friend John and also my friends er, um, Eric 
and, Je and Jeff for inspiring me to create it because of what they said about my photos. Now, this is going on almost as long. Uh, I'm really sorry. So I think I'll end part two because i got several more things to talk about. And, by the way, thank you, Gina B., for, and my fr all my friends there for making this for making the Baltimore Comic Con this past year one of the coolest, one of the, one of the best weekends of my life. Thank you.